All right, people, welcome to the video. So what we're doing right now is a upper body workout, which I'm gonna show you. A lat pull down or a pull up. If it's lat pull downs, probably make it more like 10 to 12. If it's a pull up, make it maybe six to eight. It depends on your strength level. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the regular just lat pull down bar, I'm not a massive fan. Uh, there's loads of different ones you can use. Personally, I like one that keeps your elbows near to your waist, so I like this neutral grip. There's many different versions of this, but this is my favorite because when you're pulling, if you want to really focus on your lower parts of your lats, having something that helps you kind of keep your elbows close to your waist is a good thing. Sit in secure, lean a slight lean backwards, and try and keep your elbows to your waist. I will say the more forward you do keep, the more you focus on your lower lats. But it's not bad if you do a little bit of a swing. Like that. As long as it's not over the top like this. Alright, so next up, what we're going on to is some chest presses. Uh, you can do either the barbell or the dumbbell. Personally, of the two, I'd recommend the dumbbell. I feel like it allows you to make sure both arms are working more independently. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna do some sets, probably three to four sets of around eight to 10 reps. And just pick a weight that's comfortable for you. Don't try to copy every weight that I'm doing or someone else you see online. Pick a weight that you can manage and that's the best way. Start light, the work your way up. Two arms if you want. Keep it controlled. What we have now is the first actual superset of the video. So anyways, what we're gonna do now is a barbell roll superset, 12 reps overhand and 12 reps underhand. So yes, it's gonna be a total of 24 reps. So that may sound crazy, but the main thing here is you're gonna to have to drop the weight slightly. So if you've done barbell rolls in the past and you normally say do a typical three sets of 10 reps, Obviously, because we're doing much more volume here, you're gonna have to drop down the weight slightly. So take out your ego a little bit and just get those muscles working. Then we're gonna move on to the Y raise. The Y raise is an excellent exercise. I've been doing it now probably the last two months. The great thing about this exercise is it makes you take out the momentum because sometimes you may find yourself kind of jerk the weight up when it gets to the last reps. Lying on the bench takes all of that out of it. You can't do it, it just makes it so much harder and really, really is a killer. If you haven't tried it, please try it in the gym and come back to me and let me know what you think. And of course, no upper body session will be complete without hitting some sort of biceps because we love having a nice juicy bicep pump. So first off, what we're doing is a little superset here. So we're gonna do 10 to 12 reps of bicep curls going into 10 to 12 reps of hammer curls. You can do them in any order you prefer, but I find that if I do bicep curls first, then going into hammer curls, I find my arms don't fatigue as much, so I can actually complete the sets a lot more without having to go too light. Then finally, we go with a good old tricep dips. If you're brand new here and you can't do this, then probably go for maybe tricep pushdowns instead of doing dips. But if you can lift your body weight, Dips are a great exercise. They work your triceps and your chest depending on how far forward you lean. But I personally like ending the workouts with this. All right, people, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you follow this workout, be sure to let me know down below. Let me know what things you'd also want to add in if you like. Uh, you may know this is not crazy amounts of isolated arm workouts for this, purely because a lot of the exercises that I show you in this video will already kind of touch your arms anyway. But if you want to add some addition at the end of it, Feel free to just don't go overboard. You only do like five exercises for arms, every single workout, it's not needed. Anyways, people, hope you enjoyed the video. In a bit. Make a million cash for you flatline.
Make a master plan, watch it backfire. 